Welcome to Michelle's Making. Hope you're ready for coffee, crafts, cookies, and cocktails. Let's get going. Welcome, and welcome back to those of you who are returning. I really do appreciate that. Today is National Take Your Dog to Work Day, so I've got my little Sally Sue here with me. Strawberry Parfait Day. So I think instead of cookies today, we're going to make strawberry parfait. How does that sound? Catfish Day. Oh my goodness. We have a restaurant here in town that has the best catfish. I absolutely love catfish anyway, but they are excellent at preparing catfish. And my son went there the other day and brought home some leftovers, so I had a little bit of catfish to nibble on. Leon Day. Well, for those of you who aren't familiar with Leon Day, that's Noel spelled backwards. And that's our six month mark to Christmas. And don't worry because next month is Christmas in July and we'll be celebrating by doing some crafts and maybe even make some Christmas cookies. But in the meanwhile, we're gonna start with some coffee. French vanilla creamer is the creamer of the day. And before we get going, I wanna give a shout out to my beautiful sister-in-law, Jenny. Oh my gosh, that woman is a treasure to our family. But it's her birthday coming up in a few days, so happy birthday, Jenny. I hope you have a fabulous birthday. Well, let's get going, make it a great one. Our craft today is a thrift box makeover. I had picked up this box. It looked like a little mini toolbox type thing that someone had made, homemade, and I picked it up at a thrift shop and it was half price on all wood products. So I think I paid $2.50 for this. And it was well made, but I just didn't like the way the strap on the top was. Uh, especially when it had the bar across anyway. So I decided to take off the leather strap. It was just attached by these metal thumbtacks. And then you can see the design there is it was cut out for the strap and I thought that didn't look right. So I marked with a pencil the shape that I thought would look better and decided to cut that off using my jigsaw. I marked on both ends of the box, and when I was happy with the shape, I then got out my jigsaw and went to cutting that. Uh, it was a fairly easy cut, um, but it did splinter the wood just a little bit on each side and also was a little rough. So I sanded that off and got as smooth an edge and curve as I could. I did this on both sides. And you can see here the person who made this had put initials on it, either GF or FG, but it was just painted on and that wasn't going to be a problem because I was gonna paint the box. you can see some of the splintering from the cut and also the hole from the screw where the handle was screwed in and um, that was not going to be a problem I was just going to use some wood putty to fill that in make it smooth I used Durham's water putty to fill in the splintering area and where the thumbtacks had been and where the screw was. This is a water-based putty I picked up at Home Depot. It's very inexpensive. You got a huge jar or can of it, and I think it was $8, I wanna say. It was very inexpensive, very reasonable, and I can tell it's going to go a long way. You just add water and mix it up till you get the consistency you want and fill in the holes, 
sand it down, and it accepts paint very well. Next, using my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white, I gave the box a couple of coats. Once that had dried completely, I took my sanding block and gave it some distressing around the edges and a little across the flat sections. Here you can see I sanded a section and it actually showed through that uh, painting of the initials. So I just did a little touch up with some of the Rust-Oleum chalk paint and let that dry and then just went back and sanded lightly in that area wouldn't be a paint project without using my heat gun at some point. I then used this stencil with the word blessed that I picked up off Amazon, a set of stencils actually with different words. And I decided to use for this project the word blessed and the word grateful. So I did a stencil technique using my antique wax and I started out doing it a little lightly as you can see and then going back over it, up and down with a round stencil brush, brush. The technique of going very light with the first pass over is actually the best technique I've seen. It helps prevent that bleed through. You can see there was still just a tiny smidgen of bleed through in a few spots, but that wasn't going to matter as I sanded over it. I repeated the stencil process on the other side of the box using the word grateful. Have you ever used a stenciling technique? Let me know in the comments any luck you've had with it or some challenges you might have had with it. Once that had dried, I distressed it using my sanding block. I absolutely love the way this box turned out. Let me know what you think. That's our thrift box makeover. And now, instead of cookies, we're going to make a strawberry parfait in honor of Strawberry Parfait Day. And for this, the complete recipe will be in the description box. But you start out by making a strawberry puree with some sliced strawberries and some granulated sugar. You can do this using a regular blender or even a mixer. I have a magic bullet and that's what I used. Now for the filling, you use powdered sugar, cream cheese, ricotta cheese, vanilla extract, and just a little bit of almond extract and some water. Stir that or blend it with your um, hand mixer, whatever works for you. Next, I took some vanilla wafers and placed them in a plastic baggie. And using my wooden rolling pin, I rolled and smashed until it got some fairly fine crumbs. Then you take your parfait glass or a tall glass of any kind and begin by layering. First, the cookie crumbs. The next layer is strawberry puree. Next, a layer of sliced strawberries. The next layer is our cream cheese mixture. You then repeat the layers, cookie crumbs, puree, sliced strawberries, 
and cheese mixture. The final layer is the sliced strawberries with some whipped cream on top. Now I made my whipped cream using heavy whipping cream and uh, powdered sugar, but you can use a prepared canned whipped cream if you like. The magic bullet comes in really handy for this type of small portions. And this recipe can easily be doubled or tripled depending on how many parfaits you'd like to make. But what I've done here is the perfect amount for two parfaits. And then you can finish this off with a whole strawberry on top. And there you have our strawberry parfait. Our adult beverage today is going to be a blue kinky martini. Even though it doesn't come out colored blue, it's made with the blue kinky, as well as vodka, Jose Cuervo ready to drink light strawberry margarita mix, black cherry liqueur, and triple sec. As always, the recipe will be in the description box, but you add all of your liquors into the shaker with ice and you will shake, shake, shake as, until it's well chilled. Chill your glass while you're making your cocktail. Pour out the ice water and pour in the drink. The only thing left now is to enjoy our blue kinky martini. that's it for another week thank you so much for joining me and sticking with me I do appreciate it if you haven't already please subscribe help the channel grow and don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think about the things you've seen and tell me something you'd like to see in the future I appreciate that feedback let's make it a great week don't forget to take time to stop and smell the coffee and I'll see you next Friday